Derek Jeter's brilliance took him all the way from Kalamazoo to Cooperstown, where he resides forever in the company of other legends. Tonight, on a beautiful Friday in the Bronx, fans will see the captain honored for everything he achieved during a career spent entirely in pinstripes. It is Derek Jeter Hall of Fame induction tribute night at the stadium, a celebration of the icon who proudly wore number two for two decades. And it's great to have you with us on this Yankees pregame and Derek Jeter pregame, if you will. Bob Lorenz, Jack Curry, and Carlos Beltran with you. So what a night it will be at the stadium. And Carlos, not only for Derek Jeter, but also the fans who haven't seen him in the Bronx since 2017. Well, today, Bobby, just a great night for Jeter, great night for his family and for the Bronx. I mean, being able to be back at the Bronx and the fans being able to celebrate him the way he deserves is going to be an amazing night for him. Every time we talk about a player's accomplishments at the end of a career, as we're doing with Jeter, I always like to go back to the beginning. And I remember Jeter being the Yankees opening day shortstop in 1996, clubs a home run off Dennis Martinez, makes a terrific catch in shallow left field. And you're saying to yourself, the Yankees have a special player here. And how does he bookend it at the end? At Yankee Stadium, his final at bat, that patented inside out swing, base hit to right field, wins the game. Carlos, you were there. It's like a movie script. Incredible, incredible, Jack. I mean, that moment was special for him, special for us as a teammate, just to be able to be there with him and celebrate him. To end up a career like that, I mean, that's a dream come true for any player in baseball. And he obviously wanted to be a Yankee, and that's the way it worked out. Very fortuitous when the draft was held. And, of course, that eventually led him to Cooperstown. He became Rookie of the Year in 1996, a 14-time All-Star, five gold gloves, five world championships, and overall sixth on the all-time hits list with 3,465. Now, Carlos, you were also there the night that his number two was retired, and you had a specific hand in it. I'm not saying you, you stitched the blazer together for the Monument Park blazer, but tell us that story. It's interesting. Well, it wasn't a story that happened in a conversation in the clubhouse with Rob Kikusa. I told him that uh, it was, would have been a great idea to develop like a little jacket for the guys that come every year to, you know, to be celebrated at Yankee Stadium. So the Yankees uh, did the jacket and they honored me to give him to, to Dede Jeter. I mean, I was like, I should not be the one giving this jacket to Jeter. I only played with Jeter one year. But let me tell you, you know, special guy, special human being, special player. And that's why, you know, we're celebrating him tonight. He's dressed for success all the time, but that's that. That's going above and beyond. That, he gets an assist for that, I think. I think you do. I think you're selling yourself short. I mean, it was your idea, and credit to Rob Kakuza, the clubhouse manager, who remembered that it was your idea and allowed you to be a big part of that. 